moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Been fired up for this one. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Good hit on the play. Taken by Barzell. And a... Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind them. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Johns. Takes a shot. shot from traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him, because he can't see it. Minnesota's on the board. The crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench, too. That's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling, because it doesn't happen often, James. <laughs> but one thing that does get a smile is a great start, because they now know that you are ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint, but from an emotional side, too. Excellent stick work on the play. We got a whistle offside the call. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Moves it to Silverberg. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Barzell. Sends it over to Nelson. Slides it diagonally. Oh, the out on the play! Wow! Oh, a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet and support of you because you know you hear booze often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. Quick pass to trying to gain a step. Stones him on the breakaway. Quick shot. Stones. And they strike. incredible hands but it's also about having your head up and knowing how to manipulate your opponent so you're scanning recognizing what you want to do next and what the best play is well the best play was to move the puck and it led to the goal we're still in the early stages of this period minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes leading by two quick feed to meter rider tries to dangle and the puck skips away sometimes when you the puck is a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. And he hangs on to the puck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Passes it over to Romano. Boom! Oh, nowhere to go on the play. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. New York's got it along the wall. Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. He gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint, doesn't allow the goalie to get set up, and puts it home. The Islanders finally respond, and they're right back into this one, Cheryl. Well, this is exactly what they wanted. They wanted to cut the lead in half, and you have to work in shifts. And this is what they've done. Push, be aggressive, and continue on. Picked off by Burns. Puck moved over to Niederreiter. Rocks him. And the puck skips away after that move. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Oh, and he makes another save. He's back in the lineup. 
after rehabbing his injury, and he's quick to create some offense there with that nice, dangerous shot. One times it, a game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. Minnesota's lead will not change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right spots on the ice, but you don't have any puck luck, and that was evident there as it hit the post and out. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Johns has it along the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Here's a short pass to Nelson. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Scores! And we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. I just love this goal all the way around here, James. I mean, the incredible vision to make this pass. It's about seeing where that player is going to be one step before they get there and then hitting it tape to tape. That pass is on the money, and it winds up in the back of the net. More than half the period has expired. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Denies him with the pad. Here's a shot! And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. New York's in transition. Sends it in on the attack. Silverberg's moving the puck through his own zone. Poked away by Cole. Moves it quickly over to Heatley. Made the stop on the play. Drills him! Anticipate and get across to make that save. What a steal in his own end. And he slides it quickly to Wallstrom. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Stalls quick stick off the draw wins possession. Moves it to Prosser. Slides the puck over. Great puck check on the reach. And that one's turned aside. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is sold to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Just wide. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Dumps it into the Ozone. Slides it across to Engvall. From the left side, takes it at center. Traps it with the glove. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Hey, get that personalized jersey you've always dreamed of wanting to. You finally saved enough money for it. Check out the team store just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Down the left wing, they came the zone. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Halleck's gonna play it against the half wall. And that's intercepted by Johns. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Turns it aside. Handles the saucer pass beautifully. Slides it over with pace to Pajo. The Islanders play it along the wing. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Getting into the later stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Horvath's won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Handles the puck. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Oh, and he denies him with a fantastic stop there. And that shot gets caught in traffic. New York's got possession of the puck. And look at this, they've really ratcheted up the intensity here. Loose puck and they're off to the races. 
Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Clutterbuck's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our friend back with more tomorrow. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? New York's fortunate the game is still tied here, James. They have a minority of shots on net. They're going to have to get it some attack mentality, a sense of urgency, and drive the net. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Moves it to the middle. And that caroms off a twig in front of the net. And he takes the dish. Looks to get the puck over to Pellet. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Now he takes it over the line. The Islanders have it from their own end. Score! And look at that wave right on the second year. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Drop the puck again. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Take it along the wall by Toffoli. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Angles it over to Silverberg. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. New York's got the puck in their own end. Dobson's crossed the line and gained the zone. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Here's an odd man rush. Fires it. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Minnesota's got it along the wall. They've got numbers. Shot. Here's a shot. Just out with the club save. Wow. Oh, what a smart heads up play. To Portland. How did he stop that one? Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We got a tie game. Niederreiters won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Tremendous use of the body on the play. Misses over the net. Quick pass to Enron. Oh, look at the glove save by Sorokin. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Oh, puts it wide. 
Uh, you can see the frustration right there. I think there was a sense of urgency, but he had more time than he thought. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Oh, wow, stops him again. Oh, man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Off and set up to go on the attack. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Streaking through center to go on the attack. New York's got it in their own zone. Yeah, you can see this one coming, Cheryl. Yeah, and you hate to see this, James. A player down, never the look you want, but you also know that it has to be responded for. There has to be action when a guy's on the ice. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. Not difficult to see who won that fight. The W goes the road team all the way. Popcorn. The gloves are back on. The buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. Michaels won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, excellent play and goal there! This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Quick feed to Steele. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Receives the pass. And that's deflected off someone in front. Feeds it over to Steele. Here's a chance. Denied by the puck stopper. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Past the halfway mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. The Islanders win that offensive zone face-off. Just slide to the net. Scooped up along the wall by Clutterbuck. The Islanders will take it behind the net. And that's a great heads-up play by Parisi. Dumps the puck in. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Sent into the offensive zone. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Dumps it in. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And he serves it across to Marcel. And now he angles it across to Lawson. Shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Stahl's got it in the defensive end. Here's a shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. Shot! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Oh, he just got... No, they didn't like that, and here we go. They're going to fight. I didn't like it because it was a dangerous play, James, and you got a player down as a result, and of course you got to respond, and it results in dropping the mitts. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting, but what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. You try to get your team going. Sometimes the fight is what happens, and this is exactly it, but the winner is going to the home team. Wallstrom's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Fantastic save! Quick stop! Another stop by the goaltender. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Nice save from point-blank range. 
Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes a save. Chris is a very mobile goaltender, guys. We all know a good way to score is to get the goalie moving from side to side. But he keeps up with those cross-crease attempts to shut down those grade-A scoring chances. That's his post-to-post -post zone ability, and it's really impressive to see. Moves around along the half wall. Here's a short pass to Jordan. stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. is the call. We'll get a face off at the other end. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Pellick stick handling in his own zone. And now he moves it to Horvat. And he takes the pass. Oh, how did he stop that one? Wow! Chris has been really sharp tonight, James. And just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops that he needs to. And man, his team's played well. They've got going north. They've created opportunities. And the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Great read with the stick. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. 
And that doesn't reach the net. Moves it quickly over to Lee. A blast! Oh, and an even bigger save on the slapper. In all alone. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Minnesota's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Heatley's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. I'm gonna guess that he's gonna look to drive the net and shoot the puck, given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. Oh, he caught him! Uh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. What a hit on the play! Oh, my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> I love it. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Through center. Shot! What a close save by Sorokin! Burns gets a shot on goal, and he's back on the ice after serving that five-minute major for fighting, and you can be frustrated, but listen, you got to get scoring chances. you got to be on the ice to get them. Niederreiter's won the draw here in the offensive zone. A tough save! And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Burns doesn't miss often when he gets the chance to unload his powerful one-timer, guys. His 1T zone ability is that signature shot that terrorizes the tendies. And sneaks in and grabs possession. And there's the save. Works it across to Clutterbuck. Nice zone entry from the middle. Takes the feed. Here he is from the slot. Scores! And a quick strike here puts them right back into this one. Well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one, and if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. You gotta believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. New York's gotta be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming, and they gotta win this face-off and dictate the pace. And that's poked away by Clutterbuck. 30 seconds. Tries to feed it over to Pellick. Moves the puck. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Nelson's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Well, this game looks like it's going right down to the wire, James, and one of the most important things to do now is make sure you make good blue line decisions. And he takes a shot, turns it aside with a glove. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. New York's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Quick shot, off target. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Moves it to Jones. He scores! He gives the hat trick and let those shadows fly! Anytime you get a hat trick, it's a special moment for a player and athlete here, James. But to do it at home and have all of those bats fly out of the ice, it's a pretty special one. Well, this is a great goal on the backhand, James. It's so hard to control the backhand. You have to have power, you have to have strength, and it's also about the placement. You want to make sure it's on the back foot. He finds and recognizes he's got the right spot, and he buries it. Minnesota's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Michaels won the draw inside the neutral zone. Levels him with the hit. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Great hit on the play. Puts it on net. You'll need more than that to beat him. Carl's got the answer 
as to who had the better night. Michael's been engaged and was able to jump in on the offense, guys. I've really liked his game tonight, so I'm gonna give him the edge here. Michaels won the draw there on the attack. Quick pass to Champion. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. And he slides it quickly to Pajo. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Sends the pass over. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And now it's grabbed by Peugeot. Fires it on net. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. The Avs are up next according to the league schedule makers and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available, should be a good one. The Islanders win the faceoff. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. New York's going to play the puck from behind the cage. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. New York's got the puck. The Islanders have it now. Here's the shot. Denied by Sorokin. And it's kicked away. And that's kicked out from the scrum. Jostled off the puck. Quick pass across to Kane. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Nelson. Has a chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. New York's going to have to finish this game down a player, James. And it's a difficult situation. And you look at the bench, there's more room on it right now. But their player was assessed, and it's team they can't return. Yeah, a tough loss for the team. And, and you just hope that it's not too serious an injury long term. Thunderous collision in the corner. The Wild have possession along the boards. New York's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Answered the call there. Dished on over to Michael. Takes the pass. New York's got the puck. Now a quick pass to Toffoli. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. And it's a quick pass to Michael. New York's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Scores! Into the empty net. This is right by the last James. These were the type of moments that I played in and everyone can take a breath now that the insurance marker has hit the four by six. Minnesota's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances and look at the result here late in this third period. On the shot, play resumes. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Broken up at center by Paul Mary. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Big save in front. This is an incredible push post to post, James, but I think that he has read the tendency of his opponent's extreme scores. And they tuck it into the back of the run there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. I know they didn't like the non goal call, but the show must go on here. Here we go with a face off. Shows one possession. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Here we go, on man rush. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Minnesota's in now. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Stretch pass. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Thank you.